So this is gonna be a good video. I'm here with Jill Kintner, pro racer, five times queen of crank works. You've just won everything at Sea Otter, the downhill and the dual slalom. Nice time you've won dual slalom here, so very well done. But actually, what we're here to see is Jill's camper van. She's got the most amazing camper van, fully bespoke, built for bikes. You may have seen it on Instagram, it's been all over it. Wanna check it out? Here it wow. is. So, bikes racked in there. Underneath, I guess the bed is inside above this. Yeah. And you've got these trays again that slide out. Yeah. I mean, the idea was that we can get six bikes. Like, Britt and I usually have like three each, depending where we're going, what we're doing, and tons of gear, tons of shoes, tons of helmets. It's like you gotta put something everywhere. So, we tried to use every bit of space, and it works out so well. These trays are insane. So, you slide them out. They've got this super simple, it's called a Rocky mount over here. Like you just, you just open that, unlatch it, bike comes out. So you just take the pedals off and the... So you don't even have to thread the, the axle through. You just no, these are, it's, it's like amazing. a bit tricky to fit three. So you have to like kind of bike Jenga. So it's really specific to our bikes, but so apart from the trays. So you don't have to climb in the back of the van at all really. No. Everything just goes in the trays and you slide it in. Yeah, anyone building a bike uh, van, I think, this is really the way to go for maximizing your space. It's good for keeping all your sort of dirty stuff as well out of the front of the van, I guess. That's yeah. where we keep your helmets up here. Some Red Bull lids, of course. You don't want it to smell too bad. So, and it's like, because it rains when you open these doors, so we wanted like a little separation spot so you can like, you know, have like a warm, dry spot inside and then all your gear smells and whatever comes here. And there's, there's vents for the airflow so it can dry out. There's actually like, you get the heater can come through, pass through to the back, dry it out and then... Why? Over here we have, this is a shower, like we have a 20 gallon tank in the front. Air compressor, which is super, super rad. <laughs> no more pumping up tires, you just like oh flip God. a switch and like attach this little like, this little park tool thing and you just like plug it in and you're like, we use it every day. <laughs> so did, did you come up with the design for this van or have you been thinking about this for a while? Yeah, we had another one and then um, this is sort of like revision. So yeah. the more vans you do, kind of you learn what yeah, you actually right. need. Um, so this is kind of a Bryn and my collaboration, but fully designed by us. And who built it? Um, my buddy at Northwest Conversions, my friend Tyler, he's a bike rider as well, he's done a million of them. He did everything himself, fabbed everything, like had stuff powder, like he had to have stuff powder coated and welded. But. So I guess you start off with like designing it and then putting in electrics, the plumbing and stuff, and then moving <coughs> into furniture and bike yeah. racks and things like that. Yeah, I mean the sound damping is really key. Like a lot of people miss that, but you don't, like with building out vans, like the noise is really a big thing in the insulations and then the electrical and the plumbing and stuff. What so. about when it's raining and you're sleeping? Do you hear lots, you know, like of all the rain or is that sort of dead in that as well? Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we haven't had it long enough to really hear the rain, but yeah, you would hear a little bit, but it's kind of peaceful. This is pretty like pretty cool. Like there are these little flip down work tables and then it's got lights. Wow, so. that's amazing. <laughs> like, cause you have all your stuff here and it's dark. You're not gonna like turn on the light or whatever. Oh, right. so. so work on your bikes out back yeah, of that. working on that. And then what else we got? Lights, water, these little storage Bad. rack things too. This is kind of neat. Um, we wanted to put a lip on the wheel well so that, you know, you can have your spare parts and storage and stuff and then have like the little like track racks and stuff like that. Um, he, my friend Tyler is building um, tanks, custom tanks now that fit over the wheel well but maximize the space so you can have like two water tanks there and have right. like, I don't know, like 40 gallons. Yeah, right, for washing bikes. And it comes, and to, it comes to here, it's like the same amount of space, so pretty smart. It's amazing, it's like a proper garage in the back <laughs> of the van. Yeah, it's pretty good. We actually had to update our tools to make it fit in this perfect little space, but found the right box. Bike tools, bike tools go there. Just behind there is a, a power port for our e-bike charging as we drive, not bad. And then the only other little thing is this like pretty cool lube towel rack. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. You just have like all your chain, like chain lube, sprays, bike wash, all right here. So it's, it's pretty dialed. Right, should we go around the front, check yeah. out the living space? Yeah. So the, these windows open up? Yeah. All right, this is the, uh, the living room. You got lights, um, little custom two-seater, which he makes himself. So he like chops them out, welds them together, re it. It's good to have like more living room than you know just a place to chill um he's got we have solar on the roof and like we have all kinds of like power outlets and like little usb ports just for charging stuff randomly we've got a fridge like a little fridge for beverages snacks whatever 
little snack drawer. It's a little hot, so you just keep all your snacks and easy stuff to access. That's a lot of healthy food. I guess. No beers in the fridge. Yeah, I guess we are at an event. <laughs> <laughs> I have a big beer for you up here. And then <laughs> this one is just like flip up, and then this is all the storage stuff. So if you're after a bit of beer. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> You thought we were hiding it. <laughs> that wouldn't fit in the fridge. <laughs> Just glug, glug, glug. <laughs> yeah, this one wouldn't fit in the old fridge. <laughs> yeah, and then back here we have um, like little dimmer lights. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, a heater. Inside these little power ports is like plug-ins as well, so you can charge your phone at night. And then tufted headboard, which is classes it up a bit. Just a metal head, head is it headliner? Is that what they're called? Header. <laughs> Uh, has it got like a what diesel heat, a blow heater? Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. Yeah, he taps into the diesel line, and yeah. so in like cold nights, it's like 70 degrees, no problem. Oh, God. It's really quick. So, I guess for Bryn, it was like super important. We have like a real nice stereo, so we have like that Apple Play um, like screen up front, and then there's like a massive sub you can see in the back, and speakers on bo both door panels. The sound quality in this thing is like real nice. <laughs> and then one other thing is uh, these are quite cool. They're made by Strawfoot. They're just like magnetic like that. So it's like insulates. It keeps it warm inside and it's just like really easy to snap, snap back on. I suggest people like either make their own or get that. It's really good. Obviously cooking is a big thing for a lot of people, but we kind of have all these like power points and electrical. So a lot of our stuff is like a kettle and stuff, we can just like plug it in. So we keep some electronics, like a blender and a, a kettle, you know, and you just like make coffee, plug it in, boil some coffee, get it going. We have a grinder and stuff, so I don't know. There's a camping stove and everything, so you can just like make what you want. I just didn't want it to be smelly and cooking like inside the van. So we set up outside and just make dinner and stuff. Yeah, so in here we just have like our cooking stuff and like obviously we're at a race so we just have like rehab tools and all that but pots and pans, cook, camping stove, rice cooker, a little Nutribullet, tea kettle, coffee grinder and then like you just have your silverware, spoons, knives. So it kind of all fits like absolutely perfect in here and this is quite a lot of storage actually for stuff and whatever you want in there really so yeah all good. Thanks for showing us your van, Jill. I'm absolutely so jealous. I really want to do it myself. Awesome van. Uh, of course, Doddy does Bike Cave every week over on Tech Show, so check that out if you like this. If you want to see my garage tour, it's much messier and much worse than Jill's van. Check over there for that one. Check that out. Yeah. If you like the van, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button.